about um, your birth and your well, young, your young childhood. Amazing thing. See, my mom's name is Virgie. Virgie. You know, it's off. You know, a virgin related to purity is her name. And, and then I, there's the verses that relate to her in the book. So the whole problem my mom had before my situation, um, they already had 17 months before me, my sister was born, but she tried to have another child and I put it in the book and it didn't make it, miscarriage. Okay, so she was already hurt, okay? So I, that's why I kind of bring her up first, okay? And then like at 17 months, my dad realized I got to take Norm to the hospital. He's in bad shape. He's not breathing good. So they take me to the hospital. And like I said with the priest, they said, get a priest. This kid's dying. Okay, so they baptized me. And my mom and dad were in the room. My dad didn't tell me this until maybe could be the last 10 years of his life in his 70s. Okay, he said, when your mom is in the same room with me, with you in the hospital. You died in my arms. Mom left the room. And I think, okay, that makes sense. You know, she got double hurt. You see, she had that miscarriage and she, and she couldn't take it. She just left, you know. She was very hurt. Okay, and then, see the thing that's amazing, right? This book, God gives me the scripture of his word that said out of my mouth what it was. And, and this is what's amazed me. I already had it written, but I realized, oh, this is God's prayer. Because why did I think of this in the book? Okay, so that's how the Holy Spirit works. Okay, so the, the thing that amazed me with my life is that when I was dead, my dad's gift was faith in the church. His name Lloyd related with wisdom. <laughs> okay, so he taught people in the church scripture. That was his gift in the church, discipleship. Okay, so the scripture I know that came in his mind was, God, <laughs> you created Adam with your breath of life. You can do it again. <laughs> See, okay, so <clears throat> I know that was, it, it hit me afterwards. Wow, that was his prayer that he gave him. Because it comes down to the breath of life. Okay, and like the thing that I learned is I get into my salvation. I was only four years old. I was in church at four, and I'm going by my age to the book. Okay, okay, so when I was um, at the Nazarene church, I was asking my dad the question. Why are people going to the altar? <laughs> now I'm just a kid you know and I'm a hyperactive kid okay so I'm asking did my dad why are they going there well your dad said either they're going up to renew their lives with sanctification <laughs> or they're getting saved okay so I asked dad what does being saved mean <laughs> now when I asked the question dad thought this is an opportunity <laughs> Ron's wanting to know why. <laughs> Lord, behold, this hyperactive kid <laughs> can't sit still. <laughs> why does he want to know? Okay, so dad, he tells me about Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection of the grave. <laughs> okay, and I said to dad, I want to go to the altar. <laughs> Twelve, you know, I, I, you know, as we were, you know, be maturing into our emotions and all that stuff, it starts and all that stuff, you know. So at 12, this thing, things started ticking in. But then I'd have the seizure and it erased my brain. Where's that memory of this? Okay, so it was a battle. So you'd lose entire memories. I, I would, yeah, so here you're in class learning what you did, have a seizure, <laughs> then start all over. It was like a repeat issue. See, and like, for instance, I had to work it into the subconscious part of the brain. My short memory is not good. Okay. See, so it was a lot of work. See, I've had the 
petty mouse seizures. I've had psychomotors, and I've had the big granddaddies, grandmas. Okay, the most dangerous is the psychomotor because we have automobiles. Okay, there are days like if I was to leave this room in a seizure unconsciously, I can open that door. I can get out the other door. I can take that sidewalk and I'd run a quarter of a mile. You know, or it could be a half mile. And gone. you don't realize you're doing it. And I am unconscious, gone. Okay. So the thing that I was fearful about when I was a kid, God taught me this by faith. You know, faith people got to understand faith <laughs> and i'll tell you with epilepsy it teaches you faith we have god's instruments are us <laughs> mm -hmm. see we proclaim him with our mouths yeah and, and how has god used music in your life god has used it to build people up in the church God taught me something at University Presbyterian Church after the brain surgery mm -hmm. where I didn't have all that energy build up to the seizures anymore coming mm -hmm. so I could focus on God's body in the church. Mm -hmm. See, Satan had a wall. Mm -hmm. The wall was taken away from the brain surgery. Yeah. So I could, when I play... There's times I get tears in my eyes from the congregation coming back. 